हेलो भिवर्स ओलकाम टू माई टेक अपडेट्स अफिसियल यूट्यूब चैनल पावर्ड बेक्नोलॉजी आर एस एस डट कम हेलो इन दिस टीटोरियल हाउ टू इन्स्टल एपाची क्लाउड स्टेक मैनेजमेंट सार्वर फोर पॉइंट सिक्सटीन प्लस माइ स्कूल एट ऑन सेंट एस सेवेन सार्वर दिस इज माई सार्वर इनफरमेशन माइ सार्वर आई पी एड्रेस टेन डट सिक्सटी सिक्स टेन डट सिक्सटीन एज लाइक एपाची क्लाउड स्टेक भार्सन सिक्सटीन and operating system centos 7 ram 2gb disk space 25gb cpu 2 cpu mode 64 bit service apache cloud stack version 4.16 database version mysql 8 java jdk 11 and host name cloud.technologyrss.local must be cloud stack apache management cloud stack 4.16 mysql 8 i am My server version CentOS Linux release 7.9, and now open etc hostess file, and then add all server host name and corresponding IP address. This is my full step by step tutorial. This is my cloud stack management server IP address and host name. and this is my kvm server ip address and host name this is my nfs server ip address and host name then save and exit and check host name fkdn this is my host name fkdn cloud.technologyrss.local and now checking my server ip address host name ping is working fine and then ping public cloud stack apache dot org official website and if you use any firewall d then stop and disable and must be ac linux is disable disable then must be reboot your server then reboot done now i am install epl release then latest latest release must be update your server epl release done then run command yum update for latest update installation press y for total download 252 mb again press y yum <coughs> update done now install wget and crony for time synchronization and wget installation done now add cloud stack version 4.16 repo and then save and exit and then install mysql 8.0 community release press y for add press y for total download size again press y and add this gpg k from then install mysql server 8.0 so this is not needed yes installation done
now start mysql d service and then enable mysql d service now find temporary mysql now login mysql terminal using temporary password for reset mysql root password this is my mysql root password exit from mysql terminal and then install mysql Pyth connector python this is for mandatory package mysql connector python otherwise you cannot install cloud stack management service successfully done MySQL connector python installation done now install cloud stack management service loading mirror speed from cache host file installation done now check java version jdk yes jdk 11 is ok so now run cloud stack setup management database this is cloud user and cloud user password deploy as a root this is root password yes all status is ok that means all is properly working fine cloud stack has successfully initialized database you can check your database configuration in etc cloud stack management db.properties file so now i run this command cloud stack setup management and must be this following port are enabled from your server 8080850844390090 Make sure the following ports are open for, for the management server to function properly 8080825844390090. Okay, uh, now I am going to IP tables and then add all ports into this file and then save and exit and IP table service restart then cat or tail your management server log this is my storage server testing storage server this IP address is 10.36 10.36 and some configuration needed from cloud management open this file and add your local domain name this is my local domain name Restart. Then NFS service restart. Enable NFS service. NFS utils. Check config RPC bind. Yes. Create MNT secondary folder and mount this directory yes this is secondary folder mount this is my cloud stack management server mnt secondary and then run this command for download and install system vm template 4.16 for kvm my postage 
use is KVM server kernel based virtualization. System VM installation done successfully initialize system VM template. Now unmount this directory and remove this directory and this is login URL. This is uh, login page. Login username default is admin and password is password. Default login and then going to global configuration and find this. Going to global configuration and find this. Edit and then change to false to true and then copy ca plugin root and then change true to false edit then press enter for save and this is allow local web server IP address this is for ISO download server the value is uh, server IP address then then please register to use management server for your new settings uh, to take effects stop service and start service yes is started then settings time zone asia dhaka yes asia dhaka local time zone Set time zone Asia Dhaka. IP table service is inactive. So IP table service must be needed. Yes, now is active. Yes, now again connect. Yes, server IP, IP address and login using this default login, admin, and password. Next tutorial for KVM server installation on Centre 7. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please submit your valuable comments. Please subscribe my channel, like and share with others. And don't forget, press the bell icon, get the first notification.